Hello everyone, this is Yash Nama. Thank you for joining me on this video. This is a practice question covering full cost based pricing. Petit company is engaged in the production of plastic tools for the garden. Budgeted overheads for 2020 reveal the following. So we've got variable overheads, 1.6 million for molding department, 500,000 for finishing department, and 1.05 million for general factory overheads. Fixed overheads, we've got 2.5 million for molding department, 850,000 for finishing department, and 1.75 million for general factory overheads. Budgeted machine hours, 800,000 molding, 600,000 finishing department. Practical capacity of machine hours, 1.2 million molding department and 800,000 finishing department. For reallocation of general factory overheads to molding and finishing departments, it is agreed that the variable overheads vary in line with the budgeted machine hours worked in each department. General factory fixed overheads are to be reallocated to molding and finishing departments based on the practical machine hour capacity of the two departments. It has been a long-standing company practice to establish selling prices by applying a markup on full manufacturing cost of between 25 and 35%. Fedit company is seeking to price a new product which is in its final development stage. The total market for this product is estimated at 200,000 units per annum. Market research indicates that the company could expect to obtain and hold about 10% of the market. It is hoped that the product will offer some improvement over competitors' products which are currently marketed between $210 and $250 each. The product development department has determined that the direct material cost for the new product is $9 per unit. Each unit of the product will take two labor hours and four machine hours in the molding department and three labor hours and three machine hours in finishing department. Hourly labor rates are $25 in the molding department and $25.5 in the finishing department respectively. Required. Allocate variable general factory overheads to the molding and finishing departments and calculate variable overhead absorption rates based on budgeted machine hours for molding and finishing departments. So let's take a look at requirement A, calculation of variable overhead rate per hour. So requirement A asks us to first allocate variable general factory overheads to the molding and finishing departments and then calculate the variable overhead absorption rates. So first we will do the allocation of variable general factory overheads to the molding and finishing departments. So let us look at the initial variable overheads. So it is 1.6 million for molding department. 500,000 for finishing department and 1.05 million for general factory overhead. Now we will do the allocation of variable general factory overheads. So we'll deduct 1.05 million from general factory overheads and split it between molding and finishing departments. And how will we split it? For reallocation of general factory overheads to molding and finishing departments, it is agreed that the variable overheads vary in line with the budgeted machine hours worked in each department. So I've highlighted this bit in the question. So budgeted machine hours worked in the each department. So in total, there are 800,000 plus 600,000, 1.4 million machine hours. So 800,000 upon 1.4 million times 1.05 million, 600,000 will be added to molding department and 600,000 upon 1.4 million times 1.05 million, 450,000 will be added to finishing department. Now that we have reallocated the general factory overheads to the molding and finishing departments, we can recalculate the total variable overheads for molding and finishing departments. So the revised 
Total variable overheads for the molding department is 2.2 million and the revised variable total overheads for finishing department is $950,000. Now what we have to do is to calculate the variable overhead absorption rates based on budgeted machine hours for the two departments. So we need budgeted machine hours, which are 800,000 and 600,000. And we will divide the total variable overheads by the budgeted machine hours to arrive at the variable overhead rate per hour. And this is equal to 2.2 million upon 800,000 $2.75 for molding department and $950,000 upon $600,000, $1.58 for the finishing department. Now let's move on to requirement B. Requirement B asks us to allocate fixed general factory overheads to the molding and finishing departments and calculate the fixed overhead absorption rates based on budgeted machine hours for the molding and finishing department. Now this is very similar to requirement A, except that here we are dealing with fixed overhead rate per hour. So let's first allocate the fixed general overheads to the molding and finishing departments, and then we will calculate the fixed overhead absorption rates. So similar to requirement A, we will first note down the initial fixed overheads. For the molding department, it is 2.5 million. And for the finishing departments, it is 850,000. And for general factory overheads, it's 1.75 million. Next, we will reallocate fixed overheads to molding and finishing departments. So I'll deduct 1.75 million from general factory overheads, and we are going to split that between molding and finishing departments on the basis of practical machine hour capacity of the two departments, because it's given in the question that the general fixed overheads are to be reallocated to the molding and finishing departments based on the practical machine hour capacity of the two departments. So for molding department, the practical capacity is 1.2 million, and for the finishing department, the practical capacity is 800,000. So in total, there are 2 million machine hours of practical capacity. So what we will do is 1.2 million hours upon 2 million hours times 1.75 million and 800,000 upon 2 million hours times 1.75 million. So this is the reallocation of fixed general factory overheads. And then we will calculate the total fixed overheads It is 3.5 million for molding department, 1.5 million for finishing department, and of course, zero for general factory overheads because we've reallocated them. Now, once we've done this, what we need again is the budgeted machine hours because we have to calculate the fixed overhead absorption rates based on budgeted machine hours. So I can copy this over from requirement A. And finally, based on this, we are going to calculate the fixed overhead absorption rate. That is equal to 3.5 million upon 800,000 hours, $4.44 for the molding department, and 600, 1.5 million upon 600,000, $2.58 for the finishing department. So let's move on to requirement C. Requirement C asks us to calculate variable manufacturing cost per unit and full cost per unit for the new product, which may help with the pricing decision of the new product. So let's take a look at this. So in order to calculate the variable and full manufacturing cost, let us start with the details given in the question. So we've got direct material cost for the new product, $9 per unit.
Next, we will add the direct labor cost per unit. We are told in the question that each unit of the product will take two labor hours in the molding department and three labor hours in the finishing department. Hourly labor rates are $25 in the molding department and $25.5 in the finishing department. So the labor rate per hour for the molding department is 25 times two hours spent in the molding department gives us $50. And the labor rate per hour for the finishing department is 25.5 times three hours spent in the finishing department gives us 76.5. In total, the labor cost per unit is 126.5. Next, we will move on to variable overheads. We've already calculated the variable overhead rate per machine hour of 2.75 for the molding department and 1.58 for the finishing department. Now is the time to use these rates. So we are told in the question that each unit of the product will take four machine hours in the molding department and three machine hours in the finishing department. So we have to multiply 2.75 times four and 1.58 times three. So molding department, the rate is 2.75 times four hours spent in the molding department. And finishing department, the rate is 1.58 times three hours spent in the finishing department. This gives us the total variable overhead rate of 15.74. Now that we've considered all variable manufacturing costs. We can now calculate the variable manufacturing cost per unit. It is equal to sum of all the variable manufacturing costs, $151.24. Next, we will add the fixed overheads. We already calculate the fixed overhead rate per hour in requirement B. It is 4.44 per machine hour for the molding department and $2.58 per machine hour for the finishing department. And we are told in the question that each unit of the product will take four machine hours in the molding department and three machine hours in the finishing department. So what we have to do is multiply 4.44 times four and 2.58 times three. So molding department, the rate is $4.44 times four hours. And for the finishing department, the rate is $2.58 times three hours. In total, we have 25.5 as fixed overheads. Since there are no other fixed overheads. We can now calculate the full manufacturing cost. The full manufacturing cost is equal to variable manufacturing cost 151.24 plus fixed overheads 25.5. So the total manufacturing cost is 176.74. Requirement D asks us to suggest a price range which should be considered if the company adopts a full cost plus markup approach to pricing. So let's calculate the price range. Since the basis for calculating the pricing is the full cost, we will first take into consideration the full manufacturing cost, which is $176.74. And to this, we have to add a markup. And we are told in the question that it has been a long-standing company practice to establish selling prices by applying a markup on full manufacturing cost of between 25 and 35%. So this is a range. So we have to 
first calculate a price based on 25% markup and then calculate a price based on 35% markup. And that gives us the range within which the company may price its product. So price based on 25% markup. Will be 176.74 times 1.25 and price based on 35% markup will be 176.74 times 1.35. So the company may price the product between 220.93 and 238.6 dollars. Thank you.